Hi there guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. My name is James and today we're going to go ahead and sit down and talk to you guys about Reading's 1-0 defeat away to Wigan. That's right, in Reading's first completed League One fixture since New Year's Day, we fell to a 1-0 defeat away at Wigan Athletic. And in my opinion, Reading, if they were able to finish their chances, would have came away with something in this game. It's another away game though where we have been defeated. Obviously before this we're on a four game unbeaten run away from home. But before that, obviously hadn't won a game away from home in a very, very long time. Now, in terms of this fixture, Reading had a starting eleven that had just one change from the Port Vale fixture. David Button started in goal as always with Andy Yeardom, Tyler Binden, Tom Holmes and Jarrell Dorsett making that back four with Nelson Abbey being the missing man. Michael Craig played in the defensive midfielder position with Lewis Wing and Harvey Nibs just in front of him. Femi Aziz and Paul McCary were Reading's two wingers while we had Sam Smith starting up front. Now in terms of individual performances, I thought Femi Aziz and Sam Smith were quite poor today. I've got to say Lewis Wing as well didn't have his best game in a Reading shirt. I thought it was multiple passes uh, that went away. Harvey Nibs really should have scored as well on multiple occasions. He had two massive massive chances one at the end of the first half where the ball kind of has been, I don't know if it took a deflection off the Wigan man or if he's kicked it against his own foot but really should have been doing better with that chance he also had another chance in the second half as well uh, where in my opinion again it should have found the back of the net look when you take a look at the statistics and I'm not someone that's just going to sit here and talk about stats only but 1.78 expected goals for Reading to 0.53 for Wigan 8 shots to 11 uh, 7 on target for Wigan 6 for Reading but the one key stat that I want to point out was 3 big chances made for Reading and 3 missed big chances obviously Wigan had 1 big chance as well which was missed uh, that was in the first half a real great header uh, that David Button was able to uh, save. It's not, not a great header, my apologies. It was a header that should have been in the back of the net. It was a, a free man in the box and David Button uh, easily able to save it. But look, Reading had these three big chances and in my opinion should have scored two of them coming in the second half. Obviously that first one, uh, looking at the stats, I'm going to guess it was Harvey Nibs's one. But look, Wigan took the lead in the first half. Um, Theo Asgard with the goal. Well, I don't know if it's Theo, but... Teo Asgard, either way, it was Tello Asgard who scored the goal uh, just on the edge of the box or just inside the corner of the box itself, but a fantastic strike either way. Listen, if there was two David Buttons in goal, they both weren't saving that right into the top corner. Uh, and look, if there's a goal that's going to win a game like this, you would say that that is the type of goal that would win this game. Look, Reading overall, though, should have done a lot better. I thought Wigan, with their passing, especially at the back, was really shaky. And as much as sometimes it was quite fluid, there was quite a lot of mistakes in there. And Reading really tried to capitalise on, on it, but couldn't. And I thought the finishing today from Reading was, was especially poor. Kelvin Ehebacherman, when he came off the bench in the second half, he had a good opportunity where he could have scored. Obviously, we spoke about Harvey Nibs's two opportunities where I think he could have scored. There was a ball that was put across the box. Um, where the goalkeeper spilled the cross and Reading really could have been getting on the end of that. I thought Sam Smith today had one of his poorer games in a Reading shirt. Uh, the first touch wasn't there and the clinicalness that Sam Smith normally possesses uh, just wasn't really there. Wigan, like I said, that wasn't their only opportunity was the goal. They had a couple of chances as well in the first half and in the second half as well made David Button work really hard. I've been quite critical of David Button really, uh, but listen, he saved quite a few attempts today. Uh, six saves for David Button, obviously seven of them being on target. The one that he, he didn't save, I can't blame him really too much. It was a fantastic strike, and if we're being completely honest, does a goal like that deserves to win a game. Now, in terms of league positions, what does it do for Reading and what does it do for Wigan? Wigan have climbed up to 13th in the table now, sitting on 31 points. Uh, Reading are sat on 23 points and 21st, now four points away from Exeter. Obviously, though, we know that realistically we're going to go down this year, especially with the fire sale that is happening at the club. And look, everything off, all the off-field issues are causing these issues for Reading, if we're being completely honest. And look... Is it going to be something where we see Reading stay up? I'm not sure, if I'm being completely honest. I think that's the least of our worries. I think the worry that we have is to make sure we've got a club come next season. And look, if we go down at this point, I'll be devastated, don't get me wrong, but I'll be happy if we have a club come the end of the season. 
Now, one of the biggest talking points really wasn't the result from this game. It was that Nelson Abbey wasn't included in the matchday squad. He's rumoured to be in Greece right now for a medical to Olympiakos. So it looks like Nelson Abbey is set to go. We've speaking about loyalty just a couple of videos ago where he rejected Luton. Unfortunately, he has chose a different option where he's going to go to Olympiakos. If we're being completely honest, we can't blame him either. The club have let the players down uh, this season. And if we're being completely honest, when you look at Olympiakos to Reading, it probably is the better move. Champions League football, I mean, we're constantly winning games. Is this just a shadow move for the move to Forest in the in a, in the summer or next year? Not sure, but look, it's a shame that Nelson Abbey is going to go, if we're being completely honest. That's going to be it for this video today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. My name's been James, and we'll see you all again very soon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.